I think you guys should be able to hear me and see Call of the Wild, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I hope this is all working now. Actually, before we do this, I actually got to quickly turn on the music as well. Because, yes, I added music. I finally got music. So this is going to be the first stream with music. Uh, the playlist is not super long. It's only an hour long right now. So if this repeats at some point, uh, just tell me. But I hope it's not too loud on your guys' end or that you guys can hear it. That's one of the important things. But let me quickly go back to the proper thing and... Let's say hi to everybody. Oh, and how are you doing? Jello, Andrea, Alaskan. Welcome, welcome. You'll smash the like button. I like to hear that. Jello, I like to hear that. Hayden, welcome to you too. Ayo and Talk Crowboy, how are you? You guys are loving the intro. Thank you very much. It's a lot of hard work, but I think it was worth it in the end to try and do it. I still want to change some things, but it's looking good so far. Irish Hunter, good to see you here. How are you doing today? Schnitzel, how are you too? Like I said, we're going to go black buck hunting. But can you guys hear the music? Can you guys hear the game in general? Uh, and me properly as well. I guess that's one of the most important questions because I can see that you can see me. I just don't know if you guys can actually hear me or not. But I've got to change my inventory again because, well, yeah, I've been doing some some working on the project that is going to be coming out here rather soon, hopefully. I am just waiting for some additional help to finish off that project. But I think we'll manage to get it working rather soon. Now, does this call in Black Buck? Uh, no, it doesn't. And it doesn't call anything else on this map. So I'm not going to take... Let's take the Axis Deer call with us. And let's take the Red Deer call with us, just in case. And with that being said, let's just get some more rifles with it. I think that's going to be a good thing. No music? No music? Okay. Let's try something. Um. Okay. Uh, can you guys hear music now? Let me turn myself a little bit down and make the music a little bit louder. I think you should be able to hear it now. At least I hope so. At least that'd be the plan. I really do hope that that works. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have to try something else. But while we wait, let me make sure I have everything with me that I need now for the hunt today. And 22 is at the top. Actually, we need the 300 as well, don't we? Since there are water buffalo on here that are not particularly friendly. They will run me over if I'm not too careful. But we have the space for it, so we might as well just take it with us. And then if we ever need a bow, I'll just get that bow at a later time point. And there we go. That should be all set then. And now let me look. Can you guys hear it? Uh, you guys hear game? Can't hear anything either. Wolfpack, walk you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, the antler rattle call calls him in. You can make it a little louder. Okay, I'll make it a little louder in one second. Let me just quickly check if this caller works before I forget to do that. And then we can try playing around with the music again. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Wolfpack. Thank you for telling me that I can use that caller. That is going to be very helpful considering we're going to hunt these guys today. And that's just going to basically fill everything out. Now, let me just make sure I made the right time as well, because otherwise we're going to be wasting a good amount of that here. Where could I have black buck zones? 9.30. Okay, perfect. We did make it the right time. That's what I like to see. Definitely, definitely happy with that. So now let's go back to the music and... Look, is that better now? Can you guys hear it now? If it's too loud again, tell me, because I'll turn it back down. But I hope that that's going to be fine. I hope that that's going to work for all of us here. Because I hear it perfectly good on my headphones, but then again, I'm also wearing both headphones, and it's the only thing that I really hear. So that shouldn't be a concern. Now, why don't we start looking for Black Buck over here? Because that's where we just saw a zone. So we might as well just make our way down here and see what we can find. Top, perfect. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Now, do I have the right binos? Yes, I do. Okay, good. 
and I should probably turn my HUD on again. So for anybody that's been paying attention recently, you'll probably know why that's off. You are probably going to know why that is not on and why I have everything else turned off as well. Do I have the audio clue visual? Yes, okay. I think that should be everything turned back on then. At least that's the hope. Okay, cool. We've already got a black buck female there. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Is there a male with her as well? I mean, that'd be like the icing on the cake if we could start off straight away with a decent male. But it seems to be that she's going alone. Let's look. Do I have a better view from in here? Um, are we? I don't think we will. Okay, we won't get a better view then. Sadly, sad. Where do I get out? Oh, there we go. That's where we get out again. But how is everybody doing today? How was your Wednesday? How was your week so far? I hope it's not been too stressful. I know for a fact that I've had a very busy day today. I was very, very busy filling out paperwork and all kinds of other documents. It was just a ton of stuff to do, for sure. You know, I just said, like I said, very busy today, but welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You're doing good, Andrea. That's what I like to hear. That is what I like to hear. Ooh, there's a mule back there. We could shoot that as well. Um, there's our black buck. So let's be just a bit more calm. I know it's just the female, but there's a male around. I wouldn't want to spook. Oh, that's a max weight estimate red deer. You know what? That's 300 him. Oh, perfect. Second shot dropped. And we're not going to get the full score out of him, but it's just a 7. It's not like we we're going to get anything crazy out of that anyway. And apparently there's access deer around here too. It's got like everything coming out right now. Very nice. Man, not that good, but better. Well, as long as it's better than other days, that's good. You're doing pretty good, Nina. I'm glad to hear that. I am very glad to hear that. By the way, for everybody wondering, the camera is on the way. So we are going to be having webcam here probably on to, during the weekend. If I stream during the weekend or on Monday latest. Monday latest should be live streaming. Monday the latest. If anything else goes wrong, then it's not my fault. Then it's the delivery fault or the camera was working. But it, it should all be be arriving here tomorrow friday or saturday one of the two what tea you have oh i gotta say today i'm not having any tea because i am super warm and i have the window open now and i'm still really really warm so i just have some uh, ice water today but we're gonna come back to tea soon i promise this is not gonna be the end of teas it's just that today i was really warm and i already had one or two teas during the day so as surprising as it may sound, I don't have tea. I know, it's a tragedy, right? It's a tragedy. But nice to have you here, CG. Very nice. And you're having some more apple cherry. I convinced you with that mix, didn't I? I'm telling you, everybody who hasn't tried apple cherry, it's definitely a good, definitely, definitely, definitely a good um, mix for sure. Max and Kyle, how are you? Did I see Crow's video today? No, I actually didn't watch it. I saw the thumbnail. I saw it was something to do with a level 5 whitetail deer, but I haven't looked at it yet. I was going to look at it later when I have just a little bit more free time. Then I have just a little bit more free time then. But what I thought was black buck, I think, are actually accessed here, and the black bucks are over there and not the ones coming in. So that was my, actually, no, there is a black buck here. So that probably was one, and then the other things were all uh, access deer females. I'm just going to guess. Oh, what's my favorite map and animal on that map? Oh, that's a tough one. When I just made that black buck flee. Um, oh, that's, that's, that's a really, really tough question. I like so many map. I ugh, It always depends. I don't have one favorite map like forever. But... I think right now I'd probably say currently my favorite map is probably 
Oof. Ooh, Tevroa, and on that map, my favorite animal is either the red deer or the feral pig. Either one of those. Uh, that's. I'm just gonna say that like that. I'm. But I'm also really enjoying Park Hay, which is why we're back out here again. Plus, with the tips that have come out, I, I'm I'm a strong believer that we're gonna have. A uh, true, true horns, true, racks, black buck. So I still really want to try and get myself a nice diamond before those come out. And I rather want to start early in that process rather than waiting for the last minute like I did with the Axis deer. Because I'd rather have some time to try and get one that is nice and not have to wait too long and just kind of squeeze it in here last minute. Yeah, it is pretty sad. I haven't, like I said, I haven't watched it, but based on that title and him saying that it was like 109 kg in the thumbnail, that is definitely something tragic for sure. That is not something we'd like to see, but they said they are fixing it and that Whitehill should hopefully be fixed here in the future, but who knows when that be, and we can just hope that it's going to be rather soon than later. Um... Yeah, they are. They are. And what is that? That's just an axis tier. And yeah, you can have multiple, like, bug great ones. I mean, I had a... I'm not sure. I think I had one overweight whitetail. I'm not sure if I actually had a second one, but I know for a fact that I had two, and... If you're just... Ah, I was gonna... Never mind. Never mind. Andre, I'll be right back. Okay, see you in a second. Bradley Volker, how are you doing? Very nice to have you here in stream. I hope you're doing fine. I really do. Blakester on TikTok, how are you? How are you doing? I am doing pretty good. I mean, we just started here. I finally have some music going in the streams, which I hope you all can hear in the background and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. It's a little bit more kind of folk and just relaxing music. Nothing really too crazy, but something that's going to get us in the mood to so to hunt a little bit and just enjoy and relax the time here. Plus it's going to make some of the awkward silences just that little bit smoother and more enjoyable rather than you just hearing me walk on whatever brush I'm walking at the moment. Edge, how are you doing uh what's the drink for today it's not wine it's um just some ice cold water i already said i forgot to make tea today and it's really really warm plus i already had two or three teas during the day so i couldn't drink another tea i i just got myself some ice water and got on here to go ahead and hunt ourselves some black buck so far we've been unsuccessful we've only found females which is not too great But we might have... I know I have a zone back here somewhere. Uh, but I guess we can shoot that water buffalo. That six. Better than getting nothing, right? So he should be going down. Yeah, he's going down. Perfect. That is good. Trophy hunters, how are you doing? Good to see you here. Ah. Wolfpack, are axis deer still broke? I got... Five diamond axes in two days, and one was piebald. And they should no no longer be broken at the moment. Actually, they should not be. I mean, they're supposed to be fixed, and I haven't seen many big big axes here since the update. I also haven't hunted them a lot, so I can't really fully tell you. But it's like, I mean, there I don't ha I haven't seen that many. So you probably just got super super lucky with finding those. And we've got ourselves a nice mulder back there, so let's set up. How far is he? Um, he is... Oh, 260. Okay, okay, okay. 150 should be fine then. Let's smoke him. Let's smoke him. Let's drop that boy. Perfect. <laughs> oh, Jello, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, the song. 
a little funky today. <laughs> Justus Fishing, how are you? Good old ice water, of course, of course. But we're going to return to teas. Don't you worry, the teas are not going anywhere. Even in the summer, I am going to be sitting here and drinking a tea ceremonially and showing it to the camera. I'm, I'm going to do my best on that. Sled, how are you? How are you? Good to see you here. Very nice to see you here. And what call was that just there? Okay, I don't see anything. Um, it was cool getting them, but rather diamonds low. Other diamonds, yeah, I know, but I still need to get myself a diamond access tier actually for, ooh, well, oh, max weight. It's a common. And okay, I, f I just thought that that said some decimal behind the weight, but it didn't. I guess we can track that in just a second and see if that's going to lead us to anything, but I don't want to track tracks the entire time again. Even though we have a lot of luck with that, I don't want to risk it today, and we got ourselves a lovely hard shot here. That is what I like to see on them, for sure. That is definitely very good. Uh, I accidentally sent a... F <laughs> uh, Owen. At least it's just the face pick, though. Exactly. <laughs> but where is this red deer track now? Where did we see that? Okay, it's supposed to be down here. Oh, did I accidentally? Yeah, okay. It got taken away when I picked up the mule deer. But we're going to give this a quick follow, see if this leads it to anything. And if it doesn't, we're just going to move on to the next zone, I think. I think that's going to be a good idea. Mr. Waffles, how are you doing? I hope you are doing good. He's actually going in the direction that I want to go. Perfect. Because I want to go to that lake next. I'd prefer to fast travel there, but if we can find a red deer on the way, that is max weight estimate. I will not complain about that either. Got a troll move on. Ooh, ooh, I feel bad for you there. I feel bad for you there. I actually haven't hunted move on too much. I shoot like the occasional big fours. But I shot some today, and I gotta say, I gotta get back and hunt some some of those for sure. Like, I definitely, definitely gotta go back and hunt some Mouflon again, because they look really, really cool, and I think I only have one diamond of them. I have one, I know I have one on PS4, and I think I've got one here on PC as well, but... I really want to get a second one of those, especially putting that in the wolf multi mount with the three gray uh, with the three Iberian wolves. I think that could be very very fun and something really cool as well to put together. But then we'd also need to get ourselves a a like two rares. I think it's I think it's three males that go in that multi mount if I'm not mistaken. So we need to get three like two rares and a diamond, which I mean theoretically should be kind of hard. The diamond. I think we can do it. Okay, let's shoot that guy. 150. And that's a long shot, right? Um, Apparently not. I also think I used the wrong gun. But let's just give that a quick follow-up there. And he should go down rather soon. Could be worse. Oh, <laughs> exactly, trophy hunters. Exactly. It could be worse for sure. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here on the left side? Oh, that's a good amount of access to here. Oh, what do we have there? I think that's just going to be a three as well, but I want to know. It's a four, actually, okay. I'm not going to shoot him now because I don't want to have access here at the moment, but good to know that they're around here. How's the hunt sled? It's going okay right now. We haven't really found any male black buck yet, but hopefully that can change once we get to this lake because we only hunted that lake so far, so I don't know. Apparently, I just don't have any male black bucks around there. So we know that for next time and we won't have to go back there. Uh, I have shot a payballed fork bracket. What do you mean fork bracket? I don't know what animal you mean with that. Uh, I re did a reshade in Call the Wild and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm okay with like how it looks right now with ultra settings. And for my cinematic videos that are coming soon, I'm just going to do that all with uh, LUTs in the editor. Oh, there's another one there. Hello. Let's give him a smoke as well. Come on. Oh, that's a hard shot. 
that's what I like to see. Those nice hard shots. That was a good shot. I will definitely take that. That is definitely a nice shot. Ooh, and our first male black buck chilling with a the mule deer. Now I know I have black buck hiding in there as well because we spooked those out last time. But I'm not too sure at what point they actually are at. So we might try and call those out and just see exactly what we actually have there. Because I would really like to know. Oh, Sled, you're using the emojis. I like it. They're smoked. Uh, it's kind of hard to read, actually, when you're on PC. I know on mobile you can see it a little bit more clearly. But seeing it now in chat like this, I, I should maybe try and tweak it so it's a little bit more legible. Or what do you guys think? Josh, how are you doing? Good to see you here as well. And did we use the wrong gun? Yes, we did. Okay, I accidentally used the 300 on him. Which, in hindsight, was actually quite a smart idea because... He would have run so much further if we had not done that. Now, there's our first male black buck. He's not very big. So, it doesn't really matter what type of shot we get on him, but let my heart rate calm down, and then we'll try and take a shot. Uh, what's my favorite map to play on? Oh, okay, to play on. That's a different question. That's not my favorite map in general, but my favorite map to play on, oh, I think, at the moment. Right now, it's actually Parquet. Just because I'm actually kind of relearning the map and relearning all the cool things that are on this map, which I honestly forgot about. Obviously, access tier is still kind of ruined for me, but uh, it's, it's okay. I, I, anyway, generally always hunt the other things. So right now I'm really enjoying this map. It's not my favorite map overall, but with the idea of Black Buck Turex coming out, this is definitely something very nice to see. And I, like I said, I want to get myself a, a nice, nice, nice diamond black book as well. On mobile, it looks good to me. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you for that, Sled. Thank you for letting me know. Um, got you something in Discord based on your earlier question. Ooh, let me have a look there while we call here. If I can actually open that up. That is. Let's look. Ooh, very nice. Very nice Alaskan. I like how that looks. That looks very nice for sure. Now let's look. Are there any black buck coming out of here? I should probably have checked what the range is on the collar as well because we're about 150 out. Okay, it has 200 meters range, so they should come out, I think. At least I hope so. There's a red deer just chilling there. There's a mule deer. Oh, there's pumas. Oh, no, there's pumas back there. That might be why there's none showing up in here. Okay, that makes that makes sense. That does make sense. What do I think about the clue? Okay, um, I think uh, I'm torn. I really think that it could be um, the True Horns water buffalo. I think that'd be something really cool. And I'd really love to see it. Plus, it makes sense. They did Axis Deer last. They did Red Deer before that. Then they did Mule Deer before that. So, all in all, it just kind of makes sense that the next animal on Parquet would be the um, Black Buck to be done. So, that's kind of what I think. I was also thinking about how... It... Oh, there's a Max Weight back there. Definitely want to try and smoke him. But it also could be some kind of weapon skin. Or something to do with just the whole, uh, like they said it wouldn't be the weapon, but I don't know. I feel like it could be something to do with that as well. I feel like it could be something to do with that as well. Something else that I could see happening is, well, I, I, I think the dog and the paper, it could work. I mean, could be something that happens, but I don't know. They seemed kind of distant the last time they asked about the dogs. So, who knows? It could be the dogs, it could not be the dogs. We'll just kind of have to wait, I think, for some more clues before we're going to get any kind of decisive answer on that. What Black Book drink time? So, they drink from 9 to... Oh. Let me check. They drink from 9 till 12. So, they also have potential drink times at 9.30 and 12.30 as well. So that whole range right over, the, over there. Trophy hunters already have to leave. But good luck with the hunting trip. We'll write you tomorrow. Okay, danke. Und wir schreiben morgen. 
For anybody that doesn't know who Trophy Hunters is, by the way, he's a German YouTuber who does some... Well, he does mostly really fun live streams and, like, community events. And I'm going to be taking part in one of the con community events that he does soon. I can't really talk too much about it, but he does have something else cool right now where he's kind of encouraging the community to go around different reserves for one week and try and get every single diamond off of one map. Um, Hirschfelden was this week, but... The community absolutely crushed it and that map is already done. We have no idea what it's going to be next week, but I'm planning if he's going to announce it on Sunday that I might get live on Sunday and just try and hunt that next map to see if I can get a diamond for that challenge there. But we obviously have no idea what map that could be. So we might be hunting though. We might just be able to do that. Wolfpack, does anyone else feel like we need a new class stream? Oh, I agree, Wolf. I agree 100%. I've said this a couple of different times. And I definitely, definitely think we need another, like, 3 to 6 rifle or another 2 to 6 rifle. I'd really like to see something in competition for the 243. Like, definitely, definitely. Uh, after the horrendous delays last year, if they start the year off with just the true horn update for Black Bucks, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that'd be disappointing. I mean, they already brought out Tevroa just now. Like, we know that there's not going to be a new map. Like, that'd be unimaginable. Because, like, literally, console just dropped, like, a couple of weeks ago. So, having a new map would not make any sense for them to do. And yeah, Water Buffalo already had the two ones. They were the first one on Parquet to get it. So that's why I was saying, I think we're kind of going down the line of maps in terms of what true rack, true horn animals we are getting, which is why I think that Black Buck would be next, considering that we just got the Axis Deer. Where is our max weight one? I guess if we're not gonna see him, we might as well just shoot them. Um, Which one should we get? Let's... Oh no. Okay, I can't actually shoot another one, but feed trots further that way. I think I can take a shot there. Or not. Okay, let's look. If he's gonna stop down, I'm perfect. That's what I wanted to do. And okay, we did leave the zone. Never mind. I thought we could still take him. I guess we couldn't. That sucks. Nah, we'll get another zone back for sure. We will definitely, definitely get another zone back here. Imagine you could use dogs for like um, to put guns or items. In. I, I I I wouldn't like that. I I wouldn't like that. I think that just doesn't make any sense. I I, I just think. I mean, that's not what dogs are used for in hunting. They're used for tracking, retrieving, stuff like that. I think that just be a cheap way of them kind of adding more inventory space. And I don't think that'd be. I I wouldn't really enjoy it as much. I don't think I'd use it. And, yeah, I, I just, no, it, it wouldn't be for me. Uh, fair enough if you want to play like that, but I'd rather use the dogs if dogs are the things that are being added for the actual intended purposes of tracking, retrieving, or if there's some kind of other function that they serve, then use them for that. Oh, no, okay. Um, any good black box in there? As I just spooked them all out. I don't think so. Okay, doesn't look like it. Um, not necessarily it could be. You gotta think they usually aim for two maps a year. Yeah, I know that they usually aim for two maps a year, but if we just got Tevaroa just now at the end of 2020, they're not gonna bring a map out the first week or like the first three months of or the first week of March because like it's no it's just that's not that's really not gonna work like look SRP got released when August so we had August September Dover November December that was almost five months between the reserves they wouldn't just throw one out after three months especially after having a huge issue and it just releasing on console uh, a month ago that that would not happen so it'd be unrealistic to think of that also 
don't think of it as something like that they're always going to force two maps out of here because they already said that they're trying to pull back nearly almost i think they said 40 percent or 50 percent of the dlc content to try and fix the bug fixes in the game so i know it's hard but still i mean come on <laughs> they're, they're trying it and i know for it sucks that we had all these delays but content is still coming out we're still getting updates obviously we have the known issues but if you just try and avoid it i really think that the game is not as broken or as bad like i know everybody's trying to hunt the great one right now i'm not and i'm not really seeing all that many other issues in the game at the moment i think the great one bug is currently like the biggest thing that's going on and the reason it's that big is just well because obviously it's the great one so things are going to be a little bit more tricky and finicky surrounding that topic you hope the second map is an africa map oh i'd like to see that i'd first want to see a white shell map though i really really want to see a second white shell map just because i want to go shoot another rare but i want to do that on a new map and not on a latent lakes again i feel like i've shot sometimes almost too many i sometimes like going back and shooting them but i don't think i'd go for a full-on like a hundred percent grind again on latent lakes for white tail deer i'd rather want to do that on a different map uh no worries, Trophy Hunters. I think you're not here anymore, but what do you mean in terms of what I have for a slang in German? I, I'd like to know if you're still here, what you mean with that. Dogs are a distant dream for Call of Duty. Isn't going to happen. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait. Have to wait. I think they're almost quite as requested as the turkeys, though. And we got turkeys, so who knows? We might see them, we might not. But I'm not going to make an opinion on that now. I'm just kind of going to let that happen and see what is going to be the truth rather than start here and speculate about everything again. Maybe dogs can have a radar type thing that spots zones around you in like 200 feet of radius. Oh, that would be interesting. I'd like to see something like that. I wouldn't maybe make it 250 meters. I'd maybe make it more something like... Oh, hello, hello, hello. I know we're going to use the wrong gun here. But... Okay, we got him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to see what's in that zone there. There seemed to be a good amount of black buck in there. Okay, that's just a three. Let's shoot that as well. I know I'm using the wrong gun as well. But, oh, there's another big one in there. I really want to know what that is. I really want to see what that is. Um, what's my biggest feral goat? My biggest feral goat was on the early axis. And that was a 212, I think. But in the live game, the biggest I have is a 206, I think. Which is definitely not diamond. So I am still on the lookout for a diamond feral goat here in the live game. So I technically have one of every diamond, but I'm missing the feral goat for like having it in my lodge properly. Do I have tracks turned off? No, tracks are on. Why do I not see any of the tracks from the black buck here? It's going to make it a little bit difficult picking everything up. But I guess we're just going to have to try and roam through here. That's a 25. You shot a bit too far. And then you 28.3 to make diamond. Now let's just look. Where are these guys all running to? We might have to change some of our tents here. To try and cater towards where all of the zones are here. Um, okay, they're running that way. Not a big fan of that. But if I know one thing about animals fleeing, they will start coming over that edge over here so I don't see a reason why we shouldn't try and wait over here and oh look they're right over there I don't know where the other one is that we shot or where he died but if we could get maybe one more and shoot him in a little bit more open area I'd like to pick him up as well and since they're not going to run for always they're going to run back at some point I think we can wait here for a quick second Um, let's look.
Is there still any other males? Because I feel like I saw more males before. Um, oh, it's terrible. There we go. There he is. Okay, there he's out there. So if he just stops fleeing and turns, I think we're just going to go for a shot here. In my opinion, the next three maps that I would want to see are Midwest Texas, Marco Polo map, and then a second African map. Sounds good. Are they just going to flee forever? Are you kidding me? Okay, no, he's nervous now, so they're coming back. Perfect. But, of course, he's going to be in the shrub. So I guess we'll just wait here for a quick second until they come a bit closer. They can do any map. Maybe, yeah. But like I said, I'd like to see a whitetail map. I would really, really like to see a whitetail map. And I think Australia, from a, like, point of view in terms of marketing, would probably not be the smartest idea, considering they just did um, Australia, uh, not Australia, but New Zealand. That's just, just my opinion, though. People complain that we have too many Northern American maps, yet don't realize it exactly. Like, there's just so many animals you could hunt there that they could do like another two or three reserves before it'd be way too repetitive. Plus, there's quite a good amount of different terrain and areas that they could go to. Like, we have Late Lakes, which is kind of a little bit of everything except for like deserty areas. Then we have Silver Ridge, which is mostly really mountainous areas. And then we have part of the like Sugachi Plains in the south, but that's just a really small part. Like, they could do a whole like Plains map as well if they really, really wanted to. And I think a lot of people would actually like that. I think a lot of people would be a big, big fan of those things. Um, getting Troll Feral Goats, meanwhile, the only two level fives goats I've seen were both time. Oh, you're so lucky, Timothy. You are so, so lucky. I've gotten what's it called seven out of seven trolls i've gone seven out of seven in terms of trolls which is crazy i've gone i went one out of four or one out of three for diamonds in the like early axis so in total if you would look at it like that i'd be like one for 11 or one out of 10 somewhere in that range is where i am currently at at this point my biggest is 224 damn blakester that is a big one that is a big one 221 is big as well. 216 is still huge. Uh, we need a new weapon pack. I'd like to see a new weapon pack. I really, really want to see another 2 to 6 gun. I want to see something that either competes with the Mosin or something that competes with the 243 because I'd like to see an alternative for that. I would really, really like to see an alternative for it. I don't think we need another 22 or 22 equivalent because the 22 that we have right now is already... Like, I, I like the way it works. I, I don't think it needs anything else it's not too overpowered it's not too weak it's it's right in the middle it's good to use it's versatile and it's just a good good rifle in general now i kind of didn't notice how much time we've already spent we might have to reset time already because yeah i mean it's 12 and they drink until 12 or 12 30 so they don't have too much time left sadly but before we do anything else, we might as well quickly check on the water buffalo since they do drink a little bit longer, if I'm not mistaken. I think these guys drink up till 3. And I want to see if I have any black bucks back here. Got some mule deer. Huh. Not too sure. I We might have some right over here, though. Because I used to have a zone there. I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure. What do you mean, Crow? What do you mean, Tall White Crow? Are you talking about Call of the Wild or Call of Duty? What about we take our Mulder on Silver Ridge Peaks and replace them with White Town? Ah, I wouldn't complain. I would not say no to that, but then again, I also like hunting the Mulder there, so I also don't want them to get replaced. Plus, they wouldn't do that, so that's really just a what if situation. And ooh, that is a big boy. That's a big four back there. I think we're going to smoke him. You know what? Let's just go for that. Probably should not use the M1 though. Is that a good hit? Yes, that's a good hit. Okay, cool. Perfect. Oh, there's a black buck over there. No way. I was going to run through here and not have anything and not look for them. But looks like we actually have some black buck back here. 
Okay, I guess we're gonna look for some trucks because we're not gonna have enough time. Uh, God, I've hit 15 shots. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Cloud boy. Oh, wow. Um, Antonio, how are you? What have you missed? You've not missed too much, honestly. You've missed a big massacre of Black Buck earlier. And now you just missed me shooting a rather big level 4 Axis deer. But other than that, you've not missed too much, honestly. You really haven't. Jana, how are you doing? Good to see you here. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh, wow, Miss Travel. That's, that's rare. That's something rare. I haven't heard a lot of people say that sentence. I definitely have not. Um, big male? Yeah, he's a big male, Andrea, for sure. He's definitely looking like a big male for... Nah, that would not be good. Doing my mule deer grind on SAP right now. <laughs> I think they should change it straight away. I think I think they should roll an update out in the next minutes and just switch out the mule deer then. <laughs> I'm just playing Slid. Good luck on that grind. Definitely good luck. I hope you get yourself a diamond rather soon. Or if you're looking for a rare, then obviously that you get that rare soon. Because they're definitely very cool. Just got you just got too much skill, tall boy. You just got too much skill in COD. Gotta go, have a good one. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope to see you soon again. Now let's look. Does this look like a diamond rank? I honestly haven't seen Diamond Axis in forever, so I don't know. But he's just a goal. He's way too small. He needed oh oh my he needed more than 20 points. Gee Louis. That is crazy. Let's just accept that. And I think we're going to reset time. We might as well reset time since they're going to stop drinking in a second. I've been only getting trolls. Ooh, sled. That feels bad. That definitely feels bad. Now I'm going to make it 9.30 again. But we're going to do one other thing. We're not going to take the 300 with us. We're going to take the bow with us. And we're going to go to the location where the Mulder is at right now. That five that we found in December or something like that. And we are going to try and take him out with, hmm, what bow? You know what, we're going to try with a crossbow. I feel like using the crossbow. I really enjoyed using that thing last time against the, what was that, the red deer? So let's get this all out. Oh, no, okay, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Um, which one is, do I have the right bolts? Yeah, two to seven here, perfect. Uh, wait, what? Oh, that's a drilling scope. Okay, never mind. I don't need the drilling scope. I need the... I need the crossbow scope. Which one is that? That's this one. Okay, cool. Let's take that with us. Let's take the binoculars here. Put those in there. And then we need the mule deer collar as well. So which... We're not going to use the axis deer collar. Let's be honest here. Let's just put in the deer breed collar there. And then we should be good. By the way, how is the music doing in terms of loudness? Is it good? Are you guys enjoying the music? Or do you guys think I should just quit the music and not have music in my streams until I get myself a better playlist together? I, I really need some feedback. I am always terrible with music and trying to look what is going to work well for videos or streams. Um, what time is Cleveland? Because usually he streams around uh, 3 but the fast, I don't know, Antonio. You'd have to look on his channel and look at his streaming schedule. I do not know when he's streaming today or tomorrow. I could really not tell you. TA, hello, hello. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Crossbow, yeah, we're going to try to use the crossbow on him today. Music is good for you guys. Good, perfect. Now, let's just quickly once, you know what, we're just going to look. I think that's about 50 meters, right? Oh, that's 35. Never mind. Where's some that's 50? Is that thing 50? Okay, cool. So we, it's the, I always got to just look at this because I always forget if it's the top or the middle one that I have to aim with. Oh, three trolls before. That is, that feels, that feels really bad. Better luck to you soon. I really hope you get some better luck there, Sled. I shot a 327 
big male muley right at the mountain goat outpost. Nice, Andrea. Congratulations on that. Congratulations on that. Madeleine Kramp. Moin, moin. Wie geht's? Music is a tad low. Music is fine. Music is fine. Okay. Most people are saying it's fine. I might play around with it so far. Do you guys like the style though? Or do you guys think it's... Eh, it could be improved. Because I'm... I'm okay. I'm pretty happy with it actually. I was I was trying to look like too much at like how the music is going, how what kind of mood I want to have. I have a separate playlist also for Rohanga. So if we go on the African Reserve, I have some some more um like reserve fitting music. And I want to try and do that for some of the more exotic maps and try that out, but so far I've only been able to do that for Rohanga. And I want to try it for Tevroa, Medved, and probably Quattro Cleaners as well at some point in the future. Hunter Elliot, hello, hello, how are you doing? You're doing good, TA? I'm glad to hear that. I am very, very happy to hear that. I am doing okay. Today was just a super busy day, like super, super busy. I did so much stuff. I had to fill up so much paperwork. And yeah, I'm... I'm a little bit exhausted from that. But other than that, I am actually doing pretty good, not gonna lie. I could not complain. Now let's look, what do we have over here? We might be a little bit early actually for the black book since we just had a female warning call to us. But let's look over there to the right first and then we're gonna try and get ourselves that mule deer. Because in case he's filling up some of our diamond caps here, which might might be the case. So let's try and get that. Plus, we've had that guy on our map since... Oh, let me think. Um, oh, I think we spotted that in December. I think I spotted that like a little bit before Christmas or like right on Christmas. One of those days is when I spotted in the movie live streams. But I'm not 100% certain, but it's been at least three months since we last saw it, so I hope he's still there. If he isn't, then I've got to start grinding Mueller again. But if he is still there, I'd be very happy. Uh, I need in Puma, Oh! That Puma ended up being Diamond, Maddie? Perfect. I was kind of not sure if he was, if it was going to be Diamond, considering it was a 37 to 39. But if he, that made diamond, I'm very happy for him. That is very, very cool. I left right as he spotted it. And I sadly couldn't continue watching because, well, I had to fill out the paperwork and I got a call. So I couldn't watch a live stream and be there and like answer the phone slash fill out that work. So I sadly had to leave right before that. But I'm happy that that was a diamond. Uh, let's just take that guy down and then let's go look for that for that very nice level 5 mule deer Anything back there? I know animals love drinking like far up these kind of like rocky creeks here And it always like plays with my head or messes with my head because like I don't think that they would be able to drink up there But then sometimes you'll just see like two three animals like standing right over there and just apparently taking a sip of Dry dirt. <laughs> cool Easter egg. What did Jello find now? What did Jello find now? I am curious. What do we get here? Oh, we got a hard shot even on the second shot. That's the second time we got a hard shot on a mule today. Very happy about that. I am not gonna complain about free hard shots. Like never ever. It's the best feeling. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the stream, please definitely make sure to go ahead and hit that like button as it really does help the stream out a lot and makes it so that more people can come in here so it gets promoted to them in their recommended feed and on their homepage as well, hopefully. I think that's how part of that works, but we never quite know since YouTube's algorithm keeps changing. But now, anything come in here for us to shoot or are we going to have another little dry spell here? Sadly, it looks like it. Not too good. Anything good lately? Um, TA? 
we are about to go ahead and try and get ourselves a big, big diamond muley with the... Wait, is this? Yeah, that's the right one. Um, with the crossbow. So, I'd stick around if you can. Because I think it's going to be a pretty awesome shot if we can make it. And he's definitely going to be one that we can cross off of our list for diamonds. But yeah, it doesn't look like we've got anything else coming in here, sadly. Sadly, sadly, sadly. Something I wish that would be really cool that they add something to this bridge over here and have like a second one on that side. So that we could kind of travel across the water. Similarly how we can do it on Quattro Colinas where we kind of can press E to travel and then we travel with the boat across the lake. Having something I think at this lake would be really awesome and just make going from side to side so much more convenient and something that a lot of people could do. Oh, you talked about the paper Easter egg. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I've been seeing a lot of people go crazy about that. A lot of people are very, very excited and interested about it. Uh, I'm curious what the actual Easter egg is going to be as well later on. I will definitely be on the lookout. Exactly. Also, if you... Ooh, that's a nice dilute. And I think that's the one that's with our five, right? I'm pretty sure he was with the dilute. Okay, no, he wasn't. That's another dilute. Never mind. I've been wanting a diamond mule deer. The biggest mule deer I've shot was a 283. Ooh, TA. I hope you get yourself a bigger one here in the future. Diamond mule deer can look pretty, pretty cool, if I'm going to be honest. They definitely can. Now, where was that five, though? Um. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, he's back here. Never mind. Never mind. We're still quite a bit out of vendor distance here. I thought he was closer. See, we haven't hunted him forever, that. I already forgot what zone he's in. I just remember that he's on this side. Now, oh, I uh, forgot. Okay, we're going to use the Mosin on the mule deer. I don't think it's going to make a big difference, but... He's just going to go down no matter what. It's not like the Mosin is a weak gun. It's just a little bit inaccurate sometimes. That's the only reason. I sometimes prefer taking the 243 over the Mosin. It really is. Sled, I, I, I bet if you're still here, I sled you, uh, I bet you're a little bit jealous that I'm probably about to shoot myself a diamond mule here. <laughs> just, just bringing up some of that competition feeling here, you know? Because I, I like having competitions in Call of the Wild. I definitely do. It's one of the things I like doing. I like doing competitions with people in this game in terms of scoring and just... How many animals can you get in a certain amount of time or, or things like that. I always think stuff like that is rather funny and fun to do. Because it makes you test different skills and different strategies for sure. 320, nice melon. That's a very nice diamond mule deer for sure. This dilute, nothing too special, just a silver, but he's definitely a nice kill for sure. And I can already see her five. There you guys go. He's a big boy. Wait, did you say? Yeah, 320. He's definitely a big guy. And we're going to try and take him down. Because this guy looks very... Well, he's, he's not the rank I like, but he's, he's guaranteed diamond. Because, well, as you can see, he's got the weird old 7 rank on him. So, he's basically guaranteed. Like, he, he, he basically is. But we're just going to try and get a little bit closer. And I'm going to try taking a 90 meter shot on him. Just just so we do the... Do a little bit of a challenge. Since the crossbow is kind of a lot easier than the actual like recurve bow or something like that. Me and him race to get a melee stag before the other gets conflict. <laughs> exactly, ILC. We, we might do some red deer hunting here after this, you know. We might give that a shot. I mean, we could do it for sure. I would not complain about it, but I also want to try and hunt Black Buck because that's kind of what I was setting out to do in the stream. Now, let me just mark where our actual mule is at. Okay, he's 188-ish out. Okay, he's right over there. So let's try and stay a little bit closer to the 
the water edge here. Are we going to use it? Abs of course we are, Alaskan. That's why I brought the crossbow in the nice warden camouflage here. You know, got to have some style when you're hunting. You don't want to look all plain and normal. You want to try and look, look nice and sexy while you try and hunt here, you know? That's what gets you those diamonds. You need those those nice skins. <laughs> I'm just playing, of course. But I think most of you guys knew that. How do you have a whole new pop, ILT? How do you have a whole new population? Look, weird. Yeah, some of them do. Especially some of the threes, like the ones that just have like prongs sticking straight up. I think those look kind of ugly. And this rack is also one that I'm not a big fan of, but... I really like the 221, 22 scoring diamond. I think that one just looks so sweet. Like it's so wide, it's kind of thick. It's just, it's a really, really nice looking like mule deer for sure. And I would really not complain about getting that. Like another one of them. I should download the HUD switch mod. Yeah, I have no idea about modding, like, I think I just butcher up my game files. Oh, okay, that's just him. How close is he? You know what? I feel comfortable. Let's make it 50. Let's zero in. Oh, no. How did that aim so far to- oh, the wind. I forgot that the wind affects the arrows. Okay, let's get closer then. That was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. He is going to come back though. He is definitely going to come back. That should not be the issue here. He is going to come back. See, he's already just nervous. So, he's going to come straight back towards us. Oh, you reset your whole Xbox account? Oh, that feels bad. Did you do it for a reason? Or did you just kind of feel like resetting and were like, ah, why not do it now? Or was it like a, a forced reset? Okay, let's, let's move slowly here. Cookie Dog, don't like that rack on Mule's, but I have that as a dilute rack. <laughs> so I don't hate my Mule that bad. Uh, it's not my favorite rack either, but hey. It's a diamond, so who's going to complain? Plus, he's just going to go in the bows only lodge. And I'm not going to put him as a main main animal, so I don't think it's going to be all that bad. Um, Blunt Force Ram has an amazing vid on how to do it. I might check that out, Jello. I might. I'll, I'll have a look into it. Um... Why do you have to fill out a lot of paper? Oh, uh, because uh, I had to actually um, start like signing in this channel as a company. So that paperwork is what I was basically filling out today. Because here in Germany, you have to do that. You have to fill it in as kind of like a, uh, a small business. And so that's what I was doing today. Let's hope that all that goes through and clears. But with the whole COVID going thing on, that might take a long time before that gets passed through, but uh, I needed to start it now since I am now monetized and I am earning a tiny bit of cash with this. Oh, look. Look who decided to come back already. Uh, wrong way. What? Where is it? One. I was just busy rambling on here. Didn't even notice that or Mule had come back. Wait, is he just going to stand there? Um, hello, uh, okay, you're just going to come back in a second, because I would not complain for you coming back. Uh, I need instructions in Discord because I'm not finding anything on my maps. I would like to keep my, yeah, I can sort of tell you how to do it, but I'm also not the best knowledge on console called the wall at the moment, sadly, so I'd ask somebody who has a little bit more um, a little bit more experience and plays a little bit more console than I do. So basically, he started the <laughs> Kinsko T Empire. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Uh, uh, vibes, yeah, you came at the right time. We're finally getting the Mule Deer that we found all the way back in December. 
we are finally gonna go ahead and take him out with a crossbow, but he's being just as annoying as that red deer. He's just fleeing, 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 and fleeing. That's basically what he's doing. But I'm gonna sit over here in this tree and just wait for him to come in. Uh, that's an, on the home menu where you choose the map, click on new game, and it will... Okay, yeah, that's what I would have said as well. Just do it that way. But I wasn't sure if that's the safest way of doing it as well with saving your trophies or not. But I know that should save your trophy lodge. But then again, I also always back up my files before I do anything like that. And I will be bringing out a video here soon where I'm going to show at least on PS4 how you can kind of save your files and transfer your files and do console backups because a couple people were asking me how I did that in the past and uh, I still know how that works. I'm just going to have to figure out a way to record on the PS4 as yeah, that might be a little bit difficult. Um, now, is this Mjolder going to come back? Is he going to come back? That is the question, isn't it? Huh. Okay, while that Mjolder decides to come back, I'm going to very quickly get myself something else to drink. I'll be back in one second. And I'm back again. I think that went rather quickly. Anything come to us? I don't see any wide antlers running around. But let's look. Oh, okay. He's not here yet. I'll give him one more minute to come in. And if he doesn't show up, then we're going to have to come up with some other method of getting to him. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Ay ay ay. <sighs> Mulia runs away from him while away. Did it run away while I was AFK? Did it run away? I don't know, I couldn't see. I was getting myself some more water. Because I am pretty thirsty here. I guess we're gonna try and follow the tracks then because he might be drinking back here. That's what he did in December Who knows that's maybe what he's doing now Ben we are currently sh trying to get ourselves a level 5 mule deer with the uh, crossbow at the moment But he is currently Continuously just running away from us and not cooperating so we were waiting on him, but I'm just going to slowly follow him now and see where he's ended up at. Did it run away? Because Vibes is saying no, Jello. I don't know. I don't know now. I don't know which one of you I should trust. I trust you both, but you're both saying contradicting arguments, so I don't know. Let's slowly track this. Uh, again, sorry for this question, but I just want to know if you guys are enjoying the music, if you're noticing that we're having music at all, and if it's at a good volume, because this is our first music stream, and I want to try and make this so that we have have water here, or not water. I just saw ILC's thirsty comment. <laughs> yes, I am thirsty, but I want to have smooth streams, try and improve the quality as best I always can every stream. And just adding music was, I think, the next step. And I didn't want to try face cam and music all at the same time. So I thought, I'm going to try music today. And then when the face cam arrives in the next couple days, then we are going to do the face cam as well. That is at least what my plan would be. If that's what ends up happening, I don't know. But if that's how it could end up happening, then that'd be very, very good. Uh, 
I don't know if we should maybe just reset time. We might just... Got him yet? No, we haven't gotten him yet, Tobacro. Crow. He's still evading us, and I don't know where he's at. I'm just gonna... Wait, are they still drinking? Yeah, they should still drink. If he's not here now, then I might... Give the Mulder a quick break. Let him calm down fully. And in that time, we're gonna hunt some Black Buck, and then when I reset time in a minute, then we're gonna come back and shoot him then. I think that's a bad idea. Never... <laughs> Never trust Cello. <laughs> uh, learn something. Is that metal? Can I see that through here? No, I can't. That's still the other mule deer. Snap. What could I spot up? Oh, that's access deer. Okay. Not really what I wanted to see, but hey. Let's go run away a little bit because we have to... Look, there's Black Buck over here, actually. That's actually where I got my picture from ugh, way back in the day for the thumbnail of the stream. So I know that I should have a zone there because I don't think I ever deleted it. Or... No, I still have a Black Buck zone there. Okay, good to see that. Uh, never trust Jello. That's a thing. You should... <laughs> I already read that. I found a level 5 at Bigger and Move Planet. I don't think his zone... Oh, track him down and just follow his tracks and then try and find some kind of zone. Any zone will do if you find a rest zone. Oh, hello, 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 hello. What is that I see there? Is that a five medium? Hello, let's go. Let's go. We've got ourselves a five medium Mueller that we had earlier. And we have ourselves a 5 million black buck now. Huh. I didn't know that was there. I knew the mule deer was there, but I didn't know that the black buck was there. Is he big enough? That's the question. What's... He goes up to 30, so I think he's big enough. But I'm not sure. Because we've had two trolls so far. We've had two troll... Black buck so far. So, I don't know. They've had the same estimate as well. I think one of them just went up to 29. And the other one had the same estimate. So, I don't know if he's a diamond. I don't know. I can't tell you. But, let's get moving to the other side. And, let's try and take him out. Let's do our best here. Because that zone should be going till 1230. So, we technically have 15 minimum minutes to get him. Hello, Mr. Blackbuck. Yes, exactly. Hello, Mr. Blackbuck. How are you doing today? Good, sir. How are you? <laughs> so let's move on here. Let's get around and let's try and get ourselves a nice shot on him. Big male. Exactly, Elsie. He's a big male. Look, look, look. Yeah, positive vibes. We've got some good luck here today. After having some dry streams the other day, coming to Parquet seems to be a good option. Last time we got trolled by Puma, and today seemingly we might actually get two diamonds. Which would really be super awesome, I would not complain about that. I would really not complain about it. And he's looking like he's standing in a good position, and the wind is really turning nicely as well. So, I have nothing to complain about at the moment. Plus, we're making good way here, and we're really moving solid towards our next animals. There's a lot of them though. Look at how many there are also in there. Like I'm saying, you, this spot right here is actually a great spot for Black Buck. Like this spot right here, it's probably one of my favorite ones. And I also was saying earlier, I still wanted myself another Diamond Black Buck in case True Horns were a thing for them now. So finding one now is just great. That means that we can just kind of relax and try and get ourselves a rare. In the next couple weeks before these guys get true horns if that's what they are where am i at i am at the actual like this is known as puma lake but this lake is great for red deer which drink over here mule deer and secret uh, not secret deer and access deer love to drink over here and this spot right over here is amazing for black buck if you want to know where it is on the map it is this tiny lake right over here the lodge you start at is that one so it's basically going straight south of the main lodge that you start at Chunky, hey, 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 how are you? 
we just found ourselves a 5 medium uh, black buck after we failed to shoot the 5 medium mule deer that we spotted all the way back in December. So we're having a very good day today. We are definitely finding quite a nice amount of animals and some high level animals as well after we had a bit of a dry start. And hopefully we can get ourselves at least one of the two level 5s, which would be very nice. Now even if this guy ends up making diamond here, I'm, I'm going to definitely try and get myself the uh, mule deer as well. Just because he's been on our map since December. And I don't want to keep pushing him in front of me and being like, ah, I'll shoot him tomorrow, I'll shoot him tomorrow. Uh, we're just going to try and get him. We're, we're just going to try and get him today. Tony, how are you doing? I am doing pretty okay. I'm just exhausted today. I, like I already said, I had to fill out a lot of paperwork today. So I am pretty exhausted. But we're having a great stream right now. We're finding a second diamond potential. We still haven't shot the first one, but we found ourselves a nice level 5 mule deer. <laughs> the way I said Chunky made you laugh. Why that? How did I say Chunky? I was... I don't know. I was just trying to, to say hi to people a little bit more energetic. And get in a good mood since we're about to shoot a level 5 black book. Come on now. Chill vibe. Did you just change it? No, that's another one. Chill vibes. Hey, hey, how are you? I thought you were the other vibes for a second just that you changed your names, but it seems like we have two vibes in here now. Spelled a little bit differently, but two vibes nonetheless. So, welcome to you. Now, can I spot that five here again? Uh, I would like to do that. Because I don't want to get too close. That is one thing I don't want to do. I hate paper ring. It's more draining than fit. Exactly. It just makes you read so much. I, I have like a slight headache as well right now. But it's okay. No need to worry. We're playing some chill call the wild. We've got some nice relaxed music going on in the background. So it is all going good and very nice. I was like, chunk. I don't know. <laughs> Chunky didn't seem to mind, so I don't care. And look, is that the f oh, whoa, 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 attentive, attentive? No, 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 no. Oh, he's big. He's a big boy. Let's lay down. I don't want to spook him. Let's lay down. I don't want to spook this guy. Let's keep our eyes on him. He's just attentive now. Which is good. I want to try and get straight 250 and then at 50 meters we're going to try and take a set shot. Ooh, he's hiding though behind those females. He's got those bodyguards up. He's got his bodyguards up. Can't say anything else other than that. He has definitely, definitely got his bodyguards up. Which is not great for us, but... I can't do the 22 trick. You know what we might try and do? We might... Try. Actually, I can just use the collar, right? I think I brought that with me. That's like... Oh, wait, did the... No, these guys come into antler rat... What am I doing? Really? What am I doing? That's the right one. Let's look. Is that going to do anything for them? Or is he still like, I don't care. Okay, he still doesn't care at all. Let's call him a little bit more. Let's call him a little more. Let's look here. Let's look. Okay, some of them are coming in. That's good. That is good. I keep thinking that 4 is the 5 for some reason. I don't know why. Like, the 5 just looks so much bigger, but... That four is still kind of big compared to the other ones. How are you not... <clears throat> Come on. Look, all these other guys are all like here coming in, being all excited and happy. Oh, there's our five now. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can shoot him like this, right? Oh, that's a, that's a good hit, I think. I think that's a good hit. I think that's a good hit. He's down. Either way, if we messed it up, then he's down anyway. Let's just go over there. Let's see. I want to try and get a nice little picture of him, though. 
Uh, I think we should try and do that. I think we should try and get a little, little sneak peek picture here. Um, even landed in a nice position. What do you guys think? Is this a diamond? We definitely got a good hit on him. That seems to be a nice long hit. Now let's just lay down here, get some nice pictures. We can even see that arrow. Did it go all the way through? Oh, look, that arrow even went all the way through. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. That is very cool. That's a cool guy for sure. Let's look. Is he gonna be a diamond? What? Oh, we vertebrae shot him, but he's a troll anyway. Ah, oh, he's a troll. We shot too high. We shot too high, but he's a troll. So off he goes into the troll lodge. Ay, 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 ay. He is a troll. He's a troll. He's a troll. We're gonna play some sad music for that real quick. Where do I have my sad music? Oh, please tell me I put it somewhere here. Oh, I don't. Never mind. No sad music for us. Oh, what did you guys say? Are we gonna bow? Yeah, we, I was gonna bow. I need I need a five medium black buck for our bow series. So either way, I was gonna bow him, but he's a troll, sadly. Ouch. Oh, that's just sad. Tim Wells, bow hunter. Yeah, he. Uh, I like to bow hunt. These guys came back quickly. Where did my? There we go. It's back. Good hit, good hit. Nah, it was too high, sadly. It was sadly too high. Sadly, sadly. When I saw that silver, I was like, uh, oops, but it's, 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 it's a troll, so not too bad, I guess. I know the feeling. Yeah, it sucks. Sled coming in with all the nice emojis today. I like it. I like it, Sled. Thank you for using them. This is the reason I, I created them and put them in. So that you could use them for for situations like this. Either that one or the oof as well. Yeah, big rip. Big oof. For sure. Oh, I was going to try and get that female just for some revenge, but she evaded us today. Hmm, sadly. Every time you bow something, it's a troll. Yeah, sadly. It sadly is, honestly. At least we know that that mule deer is not going to be the troll. Or a troll. That's that's the only good thing that I know for that. That's that's the only really good thing. Yeah, the lion wasn't a troll as well. The lion wasn't a troll. My white tail wasn't a troll. My great one wasn't a troll. So I have gotten some nice diamonds with the bow, but... Recently, a lot of the ones that I do try bowing end up being trolls. Now, I'm actually happy that this guy was a troll because I would have been even more mad if he would have been a diamond and I messed him up because of using the crossbow and just taking a bad shot. So I guess I'm kind of... I'm kind of happy that he was a troll in that sense and not an actual diamond. But I think that should have given our mule deer enough time to calm down so that we can hopefully, hopefully reset time here. Fast travel, reset time, and hopefully, hopefully, we can get ourselves that big, big mule deer now. Now let's make it 9.30 again, just for good measures. And let's go in storage, because we're going to do something. We're going to switch out the longbow. Uh, not longbow, the crossbow. We're gonna we're gonna take a different a different a different variation. I just think that the Arctic version is gonna be it now. We we gotta change some things up, you know. Wait, did that not put it in my storage? Um, there we go. That was odd. That was pretty odd. No idea why that didn't just go straight in my inventory but who cares I just noticed our playlist ran out so we could try playing the other one um, I don't know how long that one is though I am not too sure it's 29 minutes so we're gonna switch up the vibe a little bit we're gonna go to some some electro funk music you know switch it up a little bit get in those good moods 
Uh, and where do we want to go now? We wanted to go... Back here. I actually don't know if this is going to be good streaming music. I'm going to be way too pumped for this sometimes, but it's okay. It's all good. We can manage with it. We can deal with it for sure. Uh, did you make that super thase? Um... Oh, Jello, you can just select that super sticker, actually. Um, it's one of YouTube's ones. It's not one that I create. It's just one of the ones I think that you can get from YouTube. So it's under the... It's like next to the super chat button. There's like a super sticker button. And I think the T one should be in there as well. I am pretty sure. Nice. Uh, I'm just about to raid my food box to see what... My lady packed me. Ooh, nice, Tony. I hope you got yourself something good. I hope she packed something nice and delicious for you. You have no music, McKenny. Oh, that's odd. Does anybody else not have music? Because then I'd have to fix that. You should be able to hear a nice house beat in the background right now. I'm really vibing to this music right now. I love house music. If I haven't said that before, house music is one of my favorite, like, chill, chill out musics. It's like, it's just so chill. It's got that little nice funk to it. It's definitely good. Definitely puts me in a good mood for streaming. It always does. Always puts a big smile on my face. But does anybody else have music? Or is McKenna the only one who can't hear it right now? Because if you don't hear the music, you might want to just try and refreshing the stream once. Um, Have music, no music. Okay, if you don't have music, try refreshing the stream once or putting up the volume just a little bit. The reason that the music isn't quite as high is just because I don't want it to overpower my voice and so that you guys don't hear me any anymore. It's just low, I can hear it. Okay, you know what? Is that better? Is that better? Is that music better now? Can you guys hear it a little bit better? Can you hear that nice chill beat? If you want, I can make it even louder, but I don't want it to overpower my voice to the point where you guys can't hear me. But if you want me to turn it up just a little bit more, then tell me. I just turned it up like five, six seconds ago. But if you want me to turn it up even more, I will try and do that. And I'll make it happen. It's perfect now. Okay. This is, this is a little bit of a different stream music. I'll show you guys the Africa playlist in a second. I guess we're going to try and get this Mulder and we could try and hop on to... Um... Some Africa in a second, then we can just try out the playlist. Yep, yep, okay, you guys can hear it. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Good knowing that the music is working. Because I spent quite a bit of time today just searching through some music, trying to find some things that I think could fit to streams for different moods. And I don't know, I like it, but obviously you guys have to like it as well because you're the ones listening to this with my music. Benno, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I have no idea what you tried to say there, but um, yeah, I'm guessing you said that you hit level 60 today. I'm just going to assume that that's what you're trying to say or are saying in your language. I am not too sure, but welcome to the stream. My kind of music, hunting music. Oh, that's good to know, Timothy. That is good to know. <sighs> Considering it's like almost 10 p.m. for me right now, this is giving me some some good funk and right as they say that the music turns off, but we should be on to the next banger song here, I hope. Or is this the slow song? This might be a slower song, but it's still, this is, this is just as good house music. This is a little bit more deep house, but it's, it's there. It's, it's, it's got that lo-fi beat again. I like it. I'm a big fan of this type of music if I haven't said it already. People sometimes call this elevator music, but I don't know. I don't think elevator's music sounds this good. I also really like, if I, I think I've said this before, but I also really like modern classical music. It's not everybody's thing, I know, but like those violin solos sometimes, oh, it's just, it just sounds amazing. The only, the only thing I don't like is like the really high and screechy piano. That's not my type of thing. But certain piano, like on a piano, a violin, I, 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 I really like and enjoy it sometimes. I really, really do. And sometimes people just don't know, like they see me, they're like, oh, that guy likes classical music sometimes. Um, I do. It's pretty cool. 
Um, I did all see. I reset. Thank you for the information. Now to find my diamond albino yuka moose. Do that, Alaskan. Good luck. Uh, what time is it for me? For me, it's uh, 9.44 p.m. right now. So it is almost 10 p.m. in the evening for me because I am in Germany. Okay, no, is in CTE. Yeah, I'm in Central European time. So, yeah, I'm in a little bit of a different time zone. I am a little bit further in the future, if you will, you know. Okay, I'm going to chill out here because I'm a little bit too early. So we're just going to wait here and spot and stock for our diamond muleer. Uh, yeah, diamond muleer. 2 p.m. for you, Gunner. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I gotta say, this song is becoming a little bit repetitive, though. Uh, when I heard this earlier, it didn't sound quite as repetitive, but... I don't think it's too much longer, is it? Oh, that's the end. Perfect, see? Right as I said, it's getting too repetitive, the song switches. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Um... Uh, this... Well, it's got some nice beat to it too. Ooh, did I get him yet? No positive. We got the the other thing. We got the what's it called? We got the black buck, but we haven't got the mule deer. We just reset time and are waiting for him to come in right now. Please play gang. Yeah, I can't play ganger style because of uh, monetization, Jello. Uh, I will get a copyright strike if I play gangam style. So we are not doing that. We shall not do that. It's 11.45 a.m. for you. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Chunky. It is copyrighted. I can only use copyright-free music or music that I have gotten licenses to. So, stuff like the ones that I have here currently. So, I currently have licenses for these songs. But I don't have the license for Gangnam Style. Where is this Mulder, though? Like, come on now. It's 10.05. He's had 35 minutes to walk into his own. He should be here. Unless he's hiding where I can't see him. So let's slowly walk over there and see if we can maybe see him or find some tracks on the way. There's a mating call coming from behind us. Is that maybe him? Let's look. Let's have a look. Yeah, but I only get three strikes in YouTube for um, copyrighted music, so I'd rather not get one. I'd rather have those for worst case scenarios, because if I have three, my channel just gets deleted without any questions asked. And for playing Gangnam Style, I don't want to risk one third of my points. Like, I really don't. I would much rather have my channel for longer and not play a song. That's just kind of my thinking. It's not like I don't want to play the song, it's just I don't want to lose my channel. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have all copy three copyright strikes saved for if I ever by accident need it. Oh, he's already spooked. Wow. Sad times. Sad day. Um... <laughs> uh, I remember when that song became popular. It was playing everywhere. And with everywhere, I do really mean everywhere. Like... I don't think you could put on any radio and not hear it for like 40 minutes. Like, it'd come at least once an hour for sure. Like... Definitely, definitely, definitely once an hour, for sure. I'm a little bit worried about our Mulder, though. We might have to restart the game here. You know what? We're going to do that. I'm going to quickly restart the game, and I'll be right back. So let me put you guys on the starting screen. Don't worry. We're not restarting. Actually, I should turn off the music here for a second, shouldn't I? Um, I'm going to very quickly exit to desktop and then come back.
and they, they're just, yeah, exactly, TA. They know that they're gonna get killed with a crossbow. They know it's just, they, they know they have no chance. That's that's how it is. They see Kinsko with a crossbow and they're like, oh no, oh no, that's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Come on, please. Yes, there we go. This is gonna work. Sometimes Streamlabs is a little bit hickety when I try and turn on and off the game during like live streaming, but it worked out today, so I'm very happy about that. So let's continue again here. And let's fast travel away. Let's fast travel like over here. Give them a second. And then we'll go back in a second. It's all about I'm a... I'm a... Exactly. <laughs> that's one banger of a song too. Oh, that's just... That's childhood music right there. Uh, that, that are some old, old classics. That are some... Whew, that's some good classics. Now that you brought that up, for sure, th those are some some good classics. Not gonna lie, those are some some good old classic bangers. Oh, I all see. I I I. Now you're just asking for me to go even harder on the melanistic red deer grind. I mean, I can't really go much harder. I'm shooting basically a ton of red deer whenever I have free time, but. Now I'm just even more motivated. Ay, 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 ay. I'm going to get that mellow before you. <laughs> I even started singing. Exactly. Exactly. But then I knew like, mm -mm, somebody's going to clip this. Somebody's going to clip me singing the Barbie Girl song. And I'm like, uh-uh. Not doing that today. Today is not the day for that. Oh, Nightbot. What do you do? What are you doing, Nightbot? Really? You're going to time out 25 seconds? Oh, that is crazy. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. That is... like, what the...? <laughs> it's all about the lean and dab. <laughs> oh, we're bringing back the classics today. The dab. The shuffle. Does anybody here remember the shuffle? If you remember what the shuffle was, then... And you've got my approval. That was... that was the move. That was the move at some point. Oh, Scooter. Oh, Scooter's a funny dude as well. He's a... I assume we're talking about the same Scooter, like the guy that barely ever sings in his songs. But, like, all about the techno and hype. If we're, if we're talking both about that, then he's a, he's a funny guy for sure. He definitely, definitely is. Oh, you remember the shuffle? Yeah! That used to be like the hype move. Like, if you could shuffle, oh, people would be like, wow. And nowadays, if you do the shuffle, people are like, oh, what the are you doing? That is weird. It's crazy how times change. Like, people have gotten, like, like hip-hop dancing, street dancing has become a whole different thing. Now, I'm not saying that the shuffle was a hip-hop dance move or anything like that. But it was something that people used to do in, like, clubs, bars, stuff like that. And you were like the... The, the cool kid here in the parentheses if you could do that whereas if you do that now you're just like you're the weird dude you're the awkward guy <laughs> oh is that a long hit ah that's good enough <laughs> the cha-cha slide oh slide to the left slide to the right <laughs> and then I forgot what the next line was but it's like and now I do the chat chat or something like that. I forgot how it goes, but oh, I remember that in sports class. We, we did that whenever that played. You knew that you knew that PE was going to get cringy. You knew that PE was going to be a very, very cringy lesson that day. Cody the Temple, how are you doing? Good to see you here. I can't stop your takeoff, Ginsko, but I can crash your landing when it comes to beating me in the Miller at the Stag. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's only a question of time now. I think I've killed over 1,500 red deer and I still have no melanistic stag. So there's bound to be one. There's got to be one soon. <laughs> Guaranteed move to get a girl f home with you from the... <laughs> it was back in the day. It was. The shuffle was a... It was a lady magnet. <laughs> 
Now I can't speak there from experience because I, I was too young to party, but even at my age, if you could shuffle, you were the cool kid. One hot, exactly. Take it back now. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, thank you, CG. Thank you for writing that in there. You do not know how many memories that just brought back. Oh, wow. Oh. This just brought me back, way back, holy. Thank you to whoever just mentioned old songs. Who, who brought up it like a uh, Barbie girl again? Who brought that up? Wow, this just brought back memories, memories for sure. This definitely, definitely did. Now let's go look for this Mueller again. Uh, imagine doing the shuffle now, bro. You'd get put in a straight <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Tony. Like, if you do the shuffle now, people are like, Oh, what are you doing? Are you okay? They're gonna go check your temperature. They're gonna make sure that you can still see every color. Back in the day, like I said, you were you were a king. You were like a Michael Jackson. You got a favorite NBA team? Yes, I do, Timothy. I am a long, long Lakers fan. Since ever since 2009, I'm a Lakers fan. I've gone through all the terrible days of them not making the playoffs. I've gone through the glorious days of, of Kobe hitting hitting jump shots, hitting fadeaways, hitting those game winners. I've gone through it all. Uh, I wish I'd seen Kobe play a little bit more in his prime, but 2010 was when I first started watching basketball, and the Lakers were just the team that I fell in love with. I also like watch a couple of other players just because I know a couple of them per like personally. So I, I, I like watching the Mavs a lot. For one, for Luka. I don't know Luka, but I know another player on the team. And that I'm also a Rockets fan. I, I enjoyed watching Harden there. But I also know a guy there um, who used to go to my school who's there now. And I don't talk much to him, to be honest. I, I rarely do. But... It's, I, I just support him still from afar just because I saw him growing up through school and saw how he's played and he's a heck of an athlete and really good player. So is the guy on the Mavs team as well. He's an insane player. He played amazingly at college and he definitely deserves more playing time and I think he's going to be a great player at some point. Michael Jackson. Oh, he's got some classics. I used to be a big Michael Jackson fan when I was younger. He was really he was good. He, he was for sure the king of pop. He, he really was. Ridiculous, so I got one catching it. Yeah, see, I got a little bit of catching up to do, but I also did the great one grind in between, so gotta give me some credit there. That's how you got your GF. No, Angelo, that's not how I got my GF. I didn't get my girlfriend with a shuffle move. Uh, I got my my ex uh, differently. It wasn't with a shuffle. Tony brought it up. Okay, well, Tony, thank you for bringing that up. That just brought me back, way back to memory lane for sure. Rip Kobe, yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm still shocked that he did, he's dead. I'm, I am really still shocked, like definitely, definitely, definitely. Warriors are my team. Been a fan since 2012. Nice chunky, congratulations. Fan of the Splash Bros. I like Curry's game. I, I'm honest. I, I like his confidence. I like how he plays. I also really like um, Clay. I like how Clay plays. Clay's definitely got, got that nice arc and form. He's got probably the cleanest form in the NBA. Curry's got that quick release, but if you're talking about like the clean form and the perfect follow through, oh man, you've got Klay Thompson as your guy. Klay Thompson just knows how to do it. He is just so smooth with it. It is insane. Um, Suns are your team, Timothy? Nice. Devin Booker. He's, a, he's one heck of a player too. Very underrated sometimes. For sure. People don't get how skilled he is. But he, he's got talent. He's got talent. He's got the mindset. And he's definitely learned a lot from Kobe. When he, he practiced with him. He played against him. And Kobe kind of took him under his wings. And taught him some really good things. Which definitely are going to help Devin Booker out in the long run. And are probably also going to help out the Nets. Because I don't see... Oh, that's a Hall of Shame Mueller back there. Hello. Uh, so I don't see them trading him anytime soon. I don't think that that'd be a smart move on their end because you know that Kevin, uh, Devin Booker is going to be 
or is one of their star players. There we go. That should bring him down. Lakers for life. Yeah, gotta go. Credit is due for the great one grind at the same time. <laughs> okay, I'll see. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for being here and have a good night. Um, who are the Suns? They are the Phoenix Suns. So they're the teams of uh, Phoenix. They're the team with Devin Booker and I forget who else is on that team, honestly. Sorry. I'm just not... I don't really follow the, the Phoenix all that much. I just like watching... Um, Devin Booker play. Is your favorite sport basketball? Yeah, it is. I play basketball. That's one of the reasons I'm going to be going to college in the U.S. next year. Because of basketball. And it's just, I love the game. And yeah, it honestly is just my favorite sport. All sports talk makes me wish that Alaska Ace didn't leave. Most professional teams we ever had. <laughs> Feels bad, Alaskan. Feels bad. I'm kidding, I don't watch basketball. No worries. I didn't watch basketball at first, too. I, I just really got into it because, I don't know, I watched Kobe and something in that just inspired me to watch the game. And ever since that, I've kind of liked basketball. I didn't start basketball playing it actually physically until a lot later in my life. But watching it, I, I started watching it at a pretty early rage. And there's our five again. So... Let's try getting close to him again and let's make a little bit of a better shot this time. Mr. Content, how are you doing? Welcome here. My favorite team is the Raptors because I'm from Ontario. Nice. Very nice. That's a good reason to like your team as well. If they rep your city, it's fair that you're going to like that team. It's the same thing with me in Germany. I'm a big fan of our, of our local team here as well. Um, mostly because of the reason that they're from my hometown, but... They also play pretty good basketball, considering that we're in Germany. Devin Booker is going to be the next Kobe. <laughs> we'll see. I guess we shall see. I guess we will see. TA, you just watch soccer. I mean, soccer is a, a good sport, too. People always criticize me that I'm German and that I don't watch that much soccer, but I watched it a lot as a kid, but... Right now, I'm just more focused on basketball, college, and YouTube that trying to watch soccer is... I just don't have the time for it at the moment, if I'm honest. I, I really don't. I wish I had some more time for it, but I currently just do not have that time. Borsita, you came at the right time. Yeah, you did. You came at the right time. We're about to crossbow that guy there. Uh, it's going to be our second attempt today after we messed up a troll level 5 black buck. We are now going to get a hopefully guaranteed diamond mulder here. It's all about hockey for you. Nice sled. Nice. Well, you guys up there in Canada have the perfect weather for it, honestly. You've got cold weather, a lot of snow, a lot of ice. So Canada is really just the perfect place for, for uh, uh, ice hockey. Um... Meeting crumb, all the hunter player shot light brown turkey and I shot an albino turkey. Nice, congratulations. Those things are definitely not too common. Albino turkeys are pretty, pretty nice finds for sure. Uh, was a thing over here, UK. I'm 6'6. Six, six. Frame is wasted. I only use I got from being tall is telling short people it's raining. <laughs> oh, I know how it feels. I'm 6'3, six, 6'4, six, something like that. But I actually have a friend or somebody who's going to be in my college team next year. He's from the UK as well. So I know that there is basketball in the UK, but I know it's not as famous. It's also not as famous here in Germany. Nowhere near as much as in, in the US. Like trying to find a basketball team here in Germany can sometimes prove to be a little bit more difficult than you would like. It's definitely 10 times easier in different countries for sure. For sure. One of our star players is from Germany. Ah, that's what I like to hear. Another fellow German. Definitely nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're going to be extra patient with this guy. We are going to go nice and slowly in here. And we're going to try and get ourselves a good shot. We're not going to try and take 90 meters again. We're going to try and get a little bit closer to, I think, 70. I think 70 is going to be a 
a good point, but I want to make sure that we don't spook that guy over there because I don't want that to happen. We might even try and go a little bit this way for the reason that honestly, I don't want the wind to affect my arrow shot as much again. Tony, nice in Duisburg. That's cool. And yeah, I am from Germany. Uh, I am actually in Germany right now. Like, it is 10.05 p.m. for me right now. So, yeah, I, I'm here right now. Bow shot again. Yeah, Timothy, of course. We, we gotta go with the bow. Like, that's, that's what I'm here for. I have a whole bow series of trying to get every diamond with the bow. And you just know that one of them's gotta be a Mulder at some point. And if I can try and get that now... Okay, he's still calm over there, so we're going to try and just move up a little bit more this way. Just for the bow to be good and nice as... as uh, geez, I can't speak. Just so we can go up there and get a nice straight-on shot and not have the wind affect us too much. 9.05 p.m. here. Yeah, you guys are one hour behind me. Uh, we have LeBron and Davis. Uh, I'm not the biggest LeBron fan, I'm going to be honest. Him saying that he's the king of LA before he even played a game, I didn't respect that. Uh, that was I didn't respect that honestly. Uh, I thought that was just too cocky. He he hadn't proved anything yet. He'd be only been on the East Coast, and we all know that the West Coast for basketball is a whole different story. Now he's proven himself. He's he's shown what he can do. So if he did it now, I wouldn't care. But when he came in straight away, I don't know. He'd just be. I just thought it was cocky. I, I didn't like it. And so I have a little bit of a, of a bad picture of LeBron here sometimes. Which honestly is a bit biased because I'm a big Kobe fan. So if you're ever going to ask me who's better, Kobe or LeBron, I'm always going to say Kobe. Are those binocular seal DLC or in-game purchase? These are the ones that you can get as of level 32, I believe. And these are called the... Let me look what they're called. The uh, Apru... Apex View 7x42 binoculars. So these are in the base game. You just have to be kind of high level to be able to afford them and get them. But they are not a DLC. Um, freeze. Everybody clap your hand. <laughs> oh, the classics. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's a tree in the way now? Oh, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. No, 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 no. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Uh, where is he? Oh, so oh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on now. Really? Really? Are you kidding me? I snuck in all this way and you're just going to run away like that? Did we get the black back? Yes, we did, Oscar. We got him. He was a troll. So he is going to be going into the Trolls Lodge. You got this. Thank you, Timothy. But as you can see, our Mr. Mulder over here doesn't seem to think so. He is currently still very much debating if he's going to come back. I hope he does. Because I really don't want to reset time here. Oh, come on. Turn around and come back, please. Come back. Come back. Deutschland is wunderschön. Germany is a pretty nice country, yes. But I still do miss the US a lot, I'm going to be honest. I miss stuff like Chick-fil-A, Five Guys, Outback Steakhouse, Walgreens, CVS, Publix. Oh, I miss those things. I really do. I really do. Yeah, I also messed up the black book. I, I got a spine shot instead of a lung shot. So, yeah. um, Not the best, but... It's fine. He was a troll. And he's just going to the troll lodge. Can this Mueller just come in now? Like, that's all I want him to do. Oh, please, just... Just come in here. I mean, I'm slowly going to go in his direction. Just to kind of meet him halfway. And in case he starts drinking back there. But this is just annoying that he just keeps running away. I should have just taken the shot. What are some good German fast food players? None. 
<laughs> Straight up none. They're all either stolen from other countries, but the one thing that's good is is Duna. Duna shops. They're 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 amazing. I love myself a nice durum duna. Oh, it's it's Turkish food, but it's amazing. It is really, really good. It is just oh, it's like a wrap, but it's a it's it's a better wrap. It's it, it tastes amazing. Like Durum Duna, oh it is one amazing food. And as I'm saying that right now, I should probably go ahead and get myself a Duna soon. I haven't had one in a little while here. But I should probably go out and get myself one at my local train station because those things are just delicious. They are so good. Plus they, they fill you up a lot as well. They're they cost like four ninety like euros, like four nine four euros ninety cents. And they are just oh oh they're just amazing. They are so so good. They fill you up and they're they're just delicious. They really are. Kamp auch aus Deutschland. Finde ich gut. Das hatte ich aber schon vorher gemerkt. Anyway, I was just saying, I was just saying that I noticed that he was from Germany because he said it earlier. Uh, I just sometimes like speaking German to the fellow German people who watch the stream, just to so show some some German support as well. You know, I'll usually always translate what I said in German and English as well. But excuse me if I sometimes go German. You love Panda Express. I have not had Panda Express. Um, but. From what I heard of it, it's not kind of like exactly my type of food. Uh, how many diamonds do I have? I have like 200 plus diamonds at this point, honestly. I've shot a lot of diamonds. I think in total, like 15 or 16 of those are white tilled deer. And probably a good 20 plus are mountain lions. Because the mountain lions, when Silver Ridge Peaks first came out, were just insanely common at that point. Uh, is to be fluent in German. Oh, it's a hard language. German is definitely, definitely a hard language. So you bought yourself a pretty big deal there, Tony. I gotta go have a great stream, everybody. Okay, Jana, thank you very much for being here. And I hope to see you next time, probably with a face cam. Hopefully, hopefully with a face cam. Now, I gotta say, though, I have like 200 plus diamonds, but I also have over a thousand hours in this game. So I think after, I think in total I have like, I think on Steam it says something like 800, but that's only what I spent on this PC because I have my global counting off. So only on this PC I have 800, but I played on my old one as well. And I, I don't know, I played a lot of there as well. So I've, I've shot a good amount of animals for sure. Like a, a lot, lot of diamond, uh, yeah, diamonds and animals. Sadly, my harvest got reset because I accidentally overwrote some of my files. So my hunting profile, it actually says that I only have 7,500 kills, but I'm closer to like probably 13, 14, 15,000, somewhere in that range. But yeah. Uh, I'm I'm kind of mad that that part overwrote. That was still when I had cloud saving on, and that is one of the main reasons why I have Steam cloud syncing off because that just annoyed me so so much. Uh, how long have you lived uh, in Germany? I actually am German myself, so I was actually born and raised here in Germany. Uh, I lived for like a year or two in Switzerland when I was a child, and then since I was sixteen, seventeen, I moved to the U.S. by myself to go to a basketball academy there and to finish my high school diploma there. And then I've been back now for a little bit over a year. And I am going to be going back later this year to start college properly. I am taking online classes right now, but it is a little bit different than actually being there and taking all of my lab classes and stuff like that. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, what map has the best mission animals? I heard that the best mission animals are actually on... Actually, I really like the one that you get on Medved. So the albino diamond um, brown bear that you get at the end of them. It's also the one that I did the like, th run through with. Then I know that Hirschfelden has quite a few wild boars that you can get. You can get the albino fallow deer as well and a couple of other trophy animals. I know you get some on Leighton Lakes as well, but I actually never played through the late missions. So I actually have no idea 
uh, what you get there. But I know that you are supposedly going to get a diamond black bear and a diamond coyote. But other than that, I'm not sure if you actually get something else. I need to go back to school. hope you can find the mule deer. Thank you, TA. Good luck in school. And I hope you still have a good rest of a Wednesday. See you next time. Uh, try Panda Express, honey, walnut, shrimp. Yeah, I, see, I'm not a big seafood fan. So I'm already out when you said shrimp. <laughs> I really am not. Oh, guys, what do we want to do? Do we want to go on, like, for hunger for like 10, 15 minutes? Or should we try one more time to get this meal there? I don't really care. I'll do both, but I kind of... I don't know if I want to keep hunting these guys. Like, they are just a little bit frustrating right now. And this mule deer just keeps running away, which is really not that great. Plus, I noticed their music is out again. What music should we put on? Um, where do I have... You know what? We're just going to go back to the this one here. I'll make the playlist longer soon. Trust me. I, I will not keep them this short. Um, but I wanted to try out the music today just to see kind of what uh, volume I needed for it and how loud I should have it and if you guys actually like it or not. Because before I spend like five, six hours looking for music, I'd rather just dry test it once and see if you guys even like the idea. Um, do you need two missions to do... You need to do two missions to get two diamonds? Uh, for what, Scott? What do you mean? But generally, yes, you generally only get one diamond for every mission sequence. So you have to finish like a whole tree of missions. And then generally at the end, you either get a diamond, a rare, or a diamond rare. On late lakes, you get a diamond coyote, black bear, and rose. Oh, nice. Okay, I should definitely go on, on there then and try and do those missions. We might try and do those at some point during a stream or maybe during a video series. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Smells like Finding Nemo. I don't know. I used to like seafood, but I grew older and I stopped disliking it. My taste buds changed. Who knows? Maybe when I'm older, I'll love seafood again. Who knows? But right now, I'm just... I, it's not my thing. I don't really like it. Not a, not a fan of seafood. I don't care if people eat seafood. It's just currently not my, fine, not my thing. So what do you guys want? Go to Verhunger for 15 minutes? Or like 15, 20 ish minutes, something like that. I just gotta see. I just gotta quickly see one thing because I have a. Something for the video that's coming up soon. And I just saw I got a notice, notification by that person. So give me one second. Um. Um. Okay, so we can go a little bit longer. We can go ahead and do uh, some Verhunger then. So, yeah, let's go do some Verhunger and then I can quickly show you guys as well my little Verhunger playlist that we did. I hope it's not too loud because I, I know it's a little bit louder than the other ones, but where is it? Is it this one? So it's not very long. It's only 15 minutes long, but I, I like the vibe that I get from it for sure. I mean, if this doesn't get you in a good mood, then honestly, nothing will. Like, this is such good mood music. Like, honestly, oh, I love it. I really do. This is just fun. Oh, this is great. I love it. I just love it. Okay, Tony, see you in a second. See you in a second. What are we going to hunt, though? Um, hmm. Oh, I want to go for some. I don't want to. We're going to go for some Cape Buffalo. We are going to go for some Cape Buffaloes. I've shot some of them recently. And I want to just smoke some nice eights. I'm really feeling some eights. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So let's switch our load out again here. We'll get that mule deer in the future. Don't you worry. I'm not going to try and push him forward. We're going to get him next week. We're going to get him next week. And then we can get him with the face cam. So you guys can see my actual reaction when I shoot him. I think you guys will like that. I hope. At least I hope so. Music is perfect. Exactly, right? This music is is just straight up vibes. Like, I love it. I really love it. It's just so fitting as well. And it just, it, it's such a, like, light mood bringer. Like, 
I love it. I really do. I am also so excited and so happy when we finally have a face cam, everybody. Like, oh, you guys have been asking it. I'm so happy that I can finally deliver and that I can finally bring you guys what you guys wanted. Plus, I have a little bit of a of a bonus that, uh, that I'm going to be showing you guys as well when we have the face cam. So definitely be ready for that because I've got some cool things. What's my favorite map? Okay, so my favorite map in general right now is Tia Varoa. But in terms of hunting, I don't know, I found something in Parquet the last time we streamed there. And today I just really enjoy it. So, it's, it's just fun. I mean, Parquet is probably currently... Oh, that's a big boy. Not diamond, but it's still pretty big. Fun fact, Kinsko is actually Zaggy K, so if you want to see Kinsko's... <sighs> Shallow, how often do I got to tell you? I do not sound like Zaggy. I really, really do not sound like Zaggy. I don't have that that, that Nordic kind of accent. Like I, I really just don't. <laughs> You're the only one that thinks that, honestly. Getting some Nintendo's, Nintendo vibes, I like it. Ooh, I know that you said it, a little bit, a little bit. I get where you're coming from. I wouldn't say it's exactly Nintendo vibes, but I, I see where you're coming from. It's just that... Oh. Damn, sir. Oh, sled, that sucks. That sucks. You messed up a leucistic black buck. Hopefully you can find yourself another one. I know that they're not too uncommon, but they have definitely become more rare over the couple of years. For sure. They're not as common as they used to be. And I want to build this now. I kind of hoped that I was going to get a bit higher here. There's some TV show that I, I forgot what name it is, but it used music like this as the theme music. And I'm getting like really, really good vibes from that as well right now. Like that TV show, it just had almost identical music to this. I'm just getting that vibe. If you haven't noticed, I'm in a good mood right now. I stream has been good, even though we messed up a a diamond potential black buck that I used that went to be a troll, and we couldn't get the five mule deer. We're, we're still we're still going strong. We're we're finding animals. We're doing some progress, and we're we're just enjoying the time. Um. What's my view? What's uh, what's my opinion on the Yukon story missions? I'll see your parents and what it doesn't require. Um, I actually like that for a change. I just thought sometimes it was a little bit too much taking a picture and just examining things. So that's kind of what I didn't like. But uh, it's just I don't know. I I I kind of liked how you didn't need a gun, but. I also like having to need it, if that makes sense. So I kind of like when maps do a little bit of both. When they're like, go explore the map, go to this outpost, drop off stuff there. And I like the detail that the Yukon story had because like it, 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 it told a whole story. It wasn't just, oh, here you go, this is that, that is this. And we have bad water samples. No, you actually saw like the burning forest and you saw kind of the end results of that, which I think just made the story so much more immersive and so much more interesting for most people. You need play sellers anyway. Ah. It's always nice having placeholders. It always makes it so that you come back and hunt that animal again. I, I definitely have a couple placeholders in my lodge that I want to try and improve on. And they're... Some of the reasons that we go on some of these hunts. Now I also want to get myself a... Ooh. That looked big there for a second. It's not big enough though. Uh, I mainly came here because I wanted to look if there's any wildebeest feeding around. Um, but it doesn't seem like it. And there doesn't seem to be much there. Okay. Chone, you're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Turn everything to low graphics setting. Why would I do that, Jello? Why would I do that? If I can have it running at the smooth, nice settings, why not leave it as is? It just makes it look a little bit better, a little bit more smooth, and not as gray and dull. Okay. 
kind of surprised that there are no wildebeest here. There's usually quite a big group of them here. Apparently not today. Apparently today they're just like, bye bye, not gonna be here. Oh, there they are. Did they move zones? That's odd. Huh. There's nothing big in there though. It's just small stuff in there. Oh, there's another one up there. It's just a single level one. Nah. Not really what I wanted to go for. Let's look if we can see anything from up here, because we should. Interesting question. Do you think YouTube Premium affects streamers because it eliminates the adverts? Uh, YouTube Premium, what was that again? Was that the part where you can pay for in a month and the people don't get any ads? Um, is that what that is again, Tony? Um... Honestly, I have noticed it as much. I'm not like I'm gonna be honest. I don't make as much from ads I make a lot more through you guys actually being super supportive becoming channel members and Just being awesome and sending super chats and super stickers So YouTube premium doesn't affect me as much But I can imagine that people who get like thousands and thousands of views on their streams and videos they're probably going to be affected a lot more on things like this. But for me currently, it, it doesn't have as big of an impact as it does on probably other streamers out there. Uh, I hope that answers your question, Tony. I really do. It's, oh, it's $11.99 a month. That's expensive, though. That's expensive for just not having any ads. That is very expensive. That is, that is a hefty chunk. I could probably become a channel member at like four or five channels for that money. Wow. That's, that's a hefty price. Oh, this is the song I really liked. This is just, this is just straight up for Hunger Vibe right here. Oh. oh, I barely took any damage. Nice. Perfect. I kind of want to try and shoot that guy back there, but he's like forwarded out. Answer perfectly. Okay. Glad I could help. I glad I could answer that. Yeah, like like I said, like I really don't I get too much from ads just because I don't get as many views. Like I average between like 200 to f like 500 views a video, and I get paid by the like thousand load in terms of like what YouTube get gives you. So I don't get affected as much. Like this stream right here is probably gonna end up having somewhere around like 250 views, something like that. So you can just imagine how little YouTube premium is actually going to be affecting me. It's, it's, just, it's just gonna have a very, very slim effect. Like super chats are the things that, that really make the channel. Ooh, Brown, I wanna shoot that. I want to shoot that guy. Let's look. Can I get a long shot? Oh, we actually got two shots in there. Hello. Question is, are we going to get ourselves a good hit? Uh, YouTube algorithm is a bit messed up. Isn't it? Some people say it's more like than subs. Others say it's more down to views. I kind of go off the understanding that it's like likes. Subs are not as important they're obviously still important but i think the more interaction you as the youtuber have so the more that you guys press the like button um press like do the do commenting do stuff like that the more um affected i get through that uh, in a positive way so even if you just leave a comment saying like nice video that's gonna be even more effect than you probably just hitting the like button it's even come as far as when I just go through streams or videos, the first thing I always do is just straight away just like hitting like the like button. Just because that's what honestly just helps the YouTuber or the streamer or whatever the most. It's obviously gonna help them if I stay in chat and like talk to them during streams. But what is gonna help even more is 
like hitting the like button and commenting and stuff like that. Um, what are my summer favorite spots for any animal? I guess we'll go over water buffalo, uh, not water, cave buffalo. I really like the Xiabodlo Delta, great spot. This lake, this lake, this kind of cove over here. Uh, this area over here sometimes has them at the beginning there. Not always though. Um, and also this lake here at night sometimes is really good. I have weirdly seen them come around this area here and around this lake. So they might drink there. I honestly haven't seen them there yet though. And I also know that they come down here. So those are, I guess, my favorite spots for them. But I am not as well known with them as, for example, lions. I just kind of shoot them whenever I see them and they're, in the past they were always easy to find. They weren't a big challenge because they were really restricted in terms of what places they could go to. And now I feel like they're more widespread and people don't really know exactly where they are anymore. I thought there was a max weight there for a second. It wasn't. Now where is our orange? Did our orange die? No, it didn't. I gotta find this now. <laughs> exactly. The more you guys shoot the 300 at the like button, the better the stream does. The better it is for me. Yeah, that's, that's kind of just the way it is. And that's my understanding of it. Of course, like I said, subs do help in certain senses, but I don't think they're as important as the other things. Vibes, welcome back. Welcome back. Nice to have you here again. Yes, I made the like button before watching. <laughs> or I forget. Yeah, I sometimes do as well. I'm gonna be honest. I sometimes, like on iOS especially, or on the mobile app of YouTube, like if you go on a live stream, you don't even get the option to like see the like button. Like all you see is the chat. So if I don't hit the like button straight away, I'll just forget because I'll just get busy with the chat and just text through that. And just, I won't even be presented the like button or the incentive of pressing it, which I think they really need to change that. I honestly think that if they change that to having the like button a little bit more predominant and easier for people to find or to know that they can even like the, like the video or stream, I think that's just going to make it so much better for the streamer, but also for us viewers. Well, y you guys, the viewers. I just called myself my own viewer of my stream. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, I have no idea where this orange went. And I really don't want to run through here. Because it's just going to be a pain. And they're just going to run through the thick forest. Unless she ran up there. Uh, but doesn't look like it. So let's move on to the next spot. Let's come back here. Because this honestly is one of the better places. Um... But yeah, I'm not sure how much longer we're gonna go, but I definitely want to still check some of the spots here. Oh, that is luck. I can't see that far, sadly. I sadly cannot see that far. I wish I could. I wish we could see a little bit further with the rendering distance, but I understand that not everybody's gonna be able to push it as far and not be able to see out is good and so kind of keeping it at 400 is just gonna make it better Ooh, that's a nice eight mythical right over there that is definitely an eight mythical that is decently looking so why don't we give him good old 300 treatment now if you're wondering why i shot that guy 300 uh three times is because i know he's not gonna make diamond anyway he looks a little bit too small, and 8 mythicals usually don't make diamond anyway for them. Question is though, did I get a good shot on him, because I didn't see him drop any health yet. Which I kind of needed to see. Oh, hello! That's a guaranteed diamond right there. Okay, since we're not going to bow it, we don't have the time for it. Let's just smack that thing right there, dead on the spot. <laughs> Let's just shoot him. I, I'm not going to wait for that. That is our third diamond potential of today. That was our third diamond potential. That's crazy. You just came walking out of nowhere. 
That's my third diamond wildebeest that I've shot in that zero, uh, that area back there. That's crazy. Plus, he looked like a big, big horn as well. Now, the reason I'm not taking him with a bow is because, well, wildebeests are not that hard to find as diamonds. If you just look a little bit, you will find one. And plus, they can make it at four, like, a good bit. No, I need that Cape Buffalo back there to die because he's not losing health. Um, what's my setup? Um, on an i9 32GB RAM with a 30-inch Predator monitor. Ooh, nice. I've got myself a... What is this? I've got myself an MSI monitor. Then I am rocking an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 on an MSI Mini ITX motherboard running at 32GB uh, RAM with an SSD and with a, I think it's a one terabyte SSD and a four terabyte hard drive running all that with an RTX 2060 or 2070. I honestly forgot because I got it on like a flash sale and I just took the one that was cheapest and they really weren't priced much differently. So I honestly am not too sure. Also, I've got a, I think, a 650 watt power supply, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that's basically it. I think that's all of it. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, well, I think that's all the important specs. Oh yeah, and then I just have a kind of mini ITX Corsair case, which I am still going to have to downscale at some point for me to be able to take that whole thing with me to the US when I actually move. Uh, no, we did not actually get that Mulder in the end. We are still going to have to get him. But we just shot a big five wildebeest. And this guy is actually with a vital organ. Look at this, this is some pretty big horns, isn't it? Let's look. He's a diamond, 39.5. Oh, that's a big boy. We double lung and vertebrae shot him. Definitely, definitely a good looking thing. So let me taxidermize this guy. He is very good looking for sure. Wow. That is great. So we've got a troll and a diamond to place in our lodge in just a minute. But let's pick up the cape buffalo behind us here first. Um, what did I just want to say? Lucky night. Oh, yeah, today is a very lucky night for sure. We've been finding some good things. Let me put the music back on. What do you guys want to hear? What kind? Um, you know what? We could put on some, some quattro music as well. Just go through all of the. Actually, what's in here? What's this? Yes, we're, we're gonna play this because we're, we're just gonna go in the lodge after this and not do anything too crazy anymore since we've had quite the wild stream but I still want to pick this eight mythical up and put my troll in the lodge and put the um, wildebeest down as well where can I see the lodge oh can we see yeah we're gonna go in the lodge in just a second or well in two of them we're gonna go in my troll lodge and then we're going to go in one of the other lodges to place down the wildebeest. But we're going to have to pick up this Cape Buffalo first. Which hopefully should not be too far. I think he's going to be laying kind of right above there. Or at least I'm hoping that. Yeah, okay, he's at 0 to 25, so he's really not going to go too far. But let's look. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Is that him back there? No. That's just one of his droppings. Ay, ay, ay. I mistake a dropping for a, a big, big cape buffalo. Oh, but he's up here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, what's that? That's just a level one. Anything else running around here that might be interesting for us? I don't think so. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the four that we saw earlier. Okay. Let's look, he would have been a 137. Decently big, but we got the penetration glitch. So, yeah, that's why he didn't go down. Kind of sad to see that still happening. 
but nah. It's okay. Let's go to this. Let's go to the trophy lodge. Let's do that. Let's go. Oh, which one is it actually? Is it this one? Is this the troll lodge? I think it is. DJ Kinsko, exactly. I'm becoming a DJ now, you know. We're not gonna have Call of the Wild streams anymore. You're gonna see me mixing music here soon and all that good stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm back. Anything good? Yes, AG. We just shot ourselves a diamond uh, wildebeest, which was a nice level four. He's a pretty big one as well. And welcome everybody to my trolls lodge, full of trolls, full of crazy animals. But we've got to place down our black book. Where am I gonna place down my? Oh, I know where I'm gonna put down my black book. Good idea. I am gonna place this guy. Oh, which platform do I want him on? Do I want him in here? Nah, you know what? I'm gonna put him. I am going to put him up here. Let's go under trophy manager. Let's find this guy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Um, where did I just see that gap? There I did. Black book. That. Oh, I forgot. I have that. But let's place that down somewhere. Oh, I can't place that there. Where can I place the? Oh, there we go. I can place it here. Um, and then let's place this guy over here. Oh, I gotta do this again, really. I've got to do it all again. Why, why, why? Uh, there they are. Black book. Zack, zack. Uh, hit enter. And there we go. There's our black book. I really love this trick. This is such a cool trick. Oh, I like that pose. Oh, no. Don't want to switch the geese. Let's just keep... Actually, I gotta take the geese with me again. Let's put him like this. Why not come to the West Coast? Because for the West Coast, I would have always had to done the SAT with the essay part, and I only did that once. Plus, I honestly just... Uh, I got the better offers on the East Coast, which is why I didn't end up coming to the West Coast. Uh, which lodge do I want to go in for these guys? Um, or put the Wildebeest in. I think it's this lodge, I'm not too sure. Diamond Wildebeest and Troll Black Book. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Tony, good night. Reinvent the shuffle. Oh, gonna reinvent the shuffle. Oh, exactly. You know, we we have the life can. We're gonna we're gonna make a new shuffle. We're gonna we're gonna make a whole new thing. Uh, is this the right one? I don't know if this is the right lodge. Yeah, this is the right lodge. Okay. This is kind of the new lodge in the working, with a 262 diamond white tildeer, a huge diamond black tildeer. A piebald that we shot on stream, I think. Got a nice black spotted male. A albino female piebald mule deer. A sneaky piebald over here. He's a bit bigger of a sneaky piebald, but he still is a sneaky piebald. Then we've got a big, big gold mule deer back here. Just a decent red deer. A diamond mule deer here. With a diamond gems buck and another diamond white tail deer. So, yeah, I've gotten a ton of white tailed diamonds due to the great one grind and then this guy was after that grind but i think for today we are going to just place our wildebeest over here is there a jumping pose for these guys i always forget or at least a big one no there isn't okay i guess we're going to keep that and then let's put our goose over here um Everybody right, doesn't know this is the one that we got during our geese video, which was a nice little brown hybrid male at 6.9. So a rather big guy for sure. Um, where in the US are you going to be moving to? I'm going to be moving to the East Coast, uh, Jenny Leia. The East Coast is going to be where I'm going to. So yeah, this is the work lodge that I'm currently like dumping all the diamonds and animals that I'm not too sure where I'm going to put them once I redo all my lodges. But this is kind of the place that they are currently habitated in and staying in. Um, <laughs> well, when you ever visit... I won't, Jello. I won't. Uh, me and the missus usually come for a week. Oh, you guys are talking about uh, the UK? Okay. Um... So nice to see a fellow you can I swear it's always nice when you see people out of your own country in streams. I gotta agree. 
I always like seeing it. But I want to just go in... I think it's this lodge over here, right? Um, is it this one? Um, what lodge is this? Oh, this is my... Why is this moose here? Wait, what? I'm a little bit confused right now. I thought this was supposed to be my Hall of Shame Lodge. Oh, that reminds me, I forgot to pick up that Mule Deer. Or Hall of Shame Mule Deer. No. Oh, this is the other lodge that I was just throwing stuff in that I didn't know what to do with. Oh, and this was a... Wait, was this... Is this Diamond Score or is this a Troll? Uh, let me quickly check. Because if that's a Troll, then he has to go in the Troll's Lodge. Good that we're checking this right now. Let me quickly check. What is the metal requirement for the blue wildebeest? No, they need 37.6 and this was... Okay. That guy is going into the Trolls Lodge. Anything else in here that has to be gone or going somewhere else? Um, What are these guys? Oh, that's another troll. Hello. Good that I'm going through here. That's a diamond, okay? He can stay... He can stay. That's not a troll. That's a female. That's just the big gold that we shot at some point. Yeah, okay, so... What are these? That is just a brown... Oh, this was the guy for the Hall of Shame, the male. Okay, let's put him in the Hall of Shame as well in a second. Good thing that we went through here. Good thing that we came to this lodge, because I probably would have never found those trophies again. I would have probably not gone in there. So, let's first of all place our... Troll mountain lion in here. Where can we place him? Where do we have a free plaque for this guy? Where do we have a... This, they don't go in there. That's just feral pigs. Where can I place this nice little puma? You know what? We're just gonna... Oh, what? He doesn't fit on there. That's odd. Don't fit on there either. Please tell me I still have a plaque for this guy. If I don't, that'd be bad. Oh, you know what? We're just gonna do the good old trick. I don't care at this point. Let's look. Where is he? Where? Oh, there he could be. There he is. What? Oh, no, the pig's gone. Never mind. Okay, let's cancel this. Let's do this again. Delete. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Perfect. Now let's take you out of here and let's put you in my Hall of Shame, which... Oh, jeez, which one is my Hall of Shame? Is this my Hall of Shame? I hope this is my Hall of Shame. I'm not too sure, honestly. I am not too sure. I always feel a bit outnumbered. <laughs> uh, I know how you feel. I don't think this is my Hall of Shame, is it? No, this is our Bow Lodge, okay. So it must be four then. See, I already lost count on what lodges. Yeah, this is it. This is our Hall of Shame. This is where the smallest of the smallest come. Look at this guy. One horn, tiny male over there, one horn here, zero horns over here. Have you ever seen this? A zero horn, big horn? Like, come on now. Have you ever seen this? This is just a rarity. But let's find a sweet, sweet home for our... Oh, look at this kudo as well, that's just tiny. Let's put our feral pig here though. Let's give him a nice laying pose. Just like that. Look at him. He's a tiny male as well. 30 for a male. I think he was a level 1. This guy was t -t tiny. Let me tell you. He was tiny. Do I have anything else in this lodge? Uh, it looks empty. Uh, that's about it. Don't think we have much else here. Okay. Well. I guess with that being said. I think I'm going to have to end the stream here. We are pretty much at the end. We did... Two and a half hours, which is usually always a good time for streaming. I will let you know on the Discord. Jeez, that was a British accent. I will let you guys know on the Discord how it looks with the live cam or with the face cam. Also, I think we are probably going to be back on Friday. I'm not 100% certain on that, so don't quote me. I will put it in the Discord uh, if I will be live streaming Friday. I will try to. I'm not sure. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the stream, definitely, definitely make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't done so already. And of course, have a good day. Bye bye and peace. Also, I agree, Tony. The barber just took a little bit off too much at the top. He gave him a full buzz cut. But.